For those of you who have been following my restoration series on Old Spence, I want to show you where I'm at. If you recall, in one of my last few videos, I showed you how I restored this door panel. And you have to admit, it's looking pretty good. Some of you have even commented on how good the condition of this plastic trim is inside the door. Most of these W123s, this is all curling and wrinkling and everybody keeps asking me, where do you get this? You don't get it. Uh, just a tip here, if your trim inside here is so bad, you can take it off and you will have paint in here and you can clean that up. The problem is when you take this off, then the door seal is gonna be loose and you're gonna get wind noise. So you have to take a piece and maybe cut it and put it back in here so that you keep this seal rolled up. Otherwise, you know, by pulling this trim piece off to make it look better, you're going to have a loose seal, just a word of warning. But in this video, I'm, I'm gonna send out a call for help because I'm never gonna be able to finish old Spence here until I get a new driver's seat. <laughs> look at that. That's the one thing I've sorted out most of the mechanical things on Old Spence, but we're going after the interior now and I can't live with this. Sure, I can put a seat cover over it. The sad thing is I've had three or four really nice Palomino seats like this. They have to have the wide pleat and I've sold them and I can't find one of these anywhere. So if any of you know, know where I can get one or have one of these seats, be sure and email me or leave a comment. I desperately need a seat, a front seat in Palomino with the wide pleats for a W123. But I want to show you, it's not important that I get a driver's seat. Look at the condition of the passenger front seat in Old Spence. You know, it has a great cushion, no broken down springs, and that's the case with most of these right front seats. They're in good condition. And some of you may not know that you can take this seat and you can put it on the driver's side. Now, you're gonna to have to use, of course, the rails from the driver's seat. This armrest here, there's holes right in here that allow you to put the center armrest on this seat. The only difference is where you have the tilt knob on the outside here, the tilt knob's gonna be on the inside, which is a little bit of an inconvenience, but man, I love getting a right side seat. So if some of you have a right side front seat in this color, in this design, let me know, because that's what I'm gonna prefer. And in any case, I'll probably take this seat out and put it on the left side, even if I get another seat, because this one is in excellent condition. Notice we have a little bit of pink amino showing up here on this seat. <laughs> and I do have some spray that I can just cover that area with. I'm gonna take you back and show you the back seat and show you where I was able to spray in some Palomino covering on these areas to make it look much better. I should have taken a before picture because this had that pinkish tone that's so familiar on these Palomino seats. And I came in with a spray, a leather fabric spray, which also works on vinyl and just kind of fogged this in. You can tell there's a slight difference. This is never going to be perfect. But I'll tell you, it's sure nicer looking at this than looking at that pink color. So what we're going to start doing today is we're going to pull both these seats out. Of course the rails need lubrication i've got a seat latch that doesn't work on the driver's seat and we're going to start the process of moving this seat to here and then i'm going to wait to find another good seat for the right side so please if you know of a seat or you have one let me know we can do some real horse trading if you want to 